For C3, H6, we first look at the group number, right? So C is in group 4, so it will it will be 4 times the subscript, which is 4 times 3, and then H is in the first group, so it will be 1 times 6, it's 6 is the subscript, 1 times 6, and that will all equal 18. Now, how you usually draw these compounds is the C's will go together, um, as I've shown here, and then you draw the H's around it. Now usually this is just um, trial and error until you get the right amount of uh, electrons right. Because you have to count these, right? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So these have to match this, and usually it's just trial and error until you figure out, oh, this C needs a double bond, and then you can match up all the hydrogens. So after you have your structure, um, and I've just put down here that each dash means uh, two electrons. Uh, after you do your structure, we can do formal charge. So formal charge, all you do is just um, count each um, each dashed line, right, as one. So one, two, three, four around this carbon. So what that means is, since carbon is a group four element, um, it will be four minus whatever you get here. So four minus four is zero, as I've shown right here. Four minus four is zero. Now over here, same thing. You just count all the dashes around carbon, one, two, three, four, four dashes, so it'll be four minus four, which was the group number of carbon, so four minus four is zero. And then finally, the, the last carbon, one, two, three, four, once again, the same group number, so four minus four is zero. Now, for hybridization, for each one of these, it's actually, I mean, for at least one of them, it's different than the others. So for hybridization, what you do is count the dashes, right? So one, two, three, four, and so um, now what you do is just you add the exponents until you get the number that you got here, right? So remember that there's always a hidden one, right? So s to the one. Um, so s to the one, one plus three is four, and that equals here, one, two, three, four. Now over here, we have one, two, three, four. Um, oh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, right? So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, is 1, 2, 3, 3 domains, so 1 plus 2 is 3. Once again over here, 1, 2, 3, um, so 3 domains, so uh, there's always a 1 right here, so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, it's 3 domains. And that's it. Um, I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.